Game Extortionist. Welcome to the Game Extortionist, your source for Xbox news, exploits, and walkthroughs. Before we get started, I would like to apologize for the background noise at the beginning of my last video. That is due to an old microphone that I didn't realize wasn't up to the challenge of recording my new show. I have since decided to get a new microphone and should be here within the next couple of weeks. Until then, I am using a different microphone than I was at the beginning of my last video and is actually the one that you hear throughout the rest of the video. I would like to apologize in advance if any audio problems come up between now and when I get my new microphone. Until then, I hope that you enjoy my videos. So as most of you know, I'm a big fan of Halo. Maybe not as big a fan as this guy. Hey guys, this is Chris on Halo 5 Follower and thank you so much for tuning in today. Now, this is the first episode of Halo 2 Anniversary. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Chris. I love your videos. But seriously, though, I've been playing Halo for as long as I can remember. I got my 360 back in 2008, and uh, Halo 3 was the first game that I got for that console. When I first got my 360, I didn't even have Xbox Live. All I had was Halo 3 campaign and local multiplayer. I spent probably seven months playing campaign every single day. Every day a different mission, every day something new to find. And then I discovered the internet, a great tool that allowed me to find glitches in the game. In fact, it was because of Halo 3 that I met my now best friend on Xbox Live, NoWise10. NoWise10 introduced me to the world of finding gaming glitches, and since then we've been finding glitches together. I must tell you I find nothing more exhilarating than getting outside of the map on a campaign mission and exploring what you're not meant to explore. Viewing the world as it's never been viewed before. And though it's been a little while since we've had a chance to find any new glitches, I'm still very excited to see what we find next. Of course, Halo 3 is where it all started for me, so I thought we'd take a look back at the campaign and see where it all started. Xbox. On. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah, uh, avatars. Useless things now. I actually miss playing 360, but it's hard to go back and play an old console once you have something new. These loading screens take me back though. Ah, uh, there it is. Marty O'Donnell. I get shivers when I listen to this music. Let's jump right in though. This is my top 5 Halo 3 glitches, exploits, and easter eggs. Starting out at number 5 we have the flying dumpster glitch. This glitch is not an exploit because of its nature. You do it to have something to show your friends. It's fun and can kill some time while you wait for dinner. Though mostly useless outside of theater, this glitch still amazes me every time I use it. Number 4 is the shit-talking grunt. This smart-mouthed little fucker is found on the last mission, Halo, right before you finish the game. If you have time to stop, this little guy will give you a piece of his mind. Thanks for this one, Bungie. Get into the military! Okay, look, you let me live, I have to finish the fuck. Look, I'll be the bottom. I'll polish your boots. I'll polish your helmet. It's the gas! <laughs> Coming in at number 3, it's the elevator glitch. 
This is a great out of the map glitch that can be done on virtually any map with a corner. Two people are needed to perform the glitch, but that's okay. Sharing is caring. This glitch is used to find easter eggs and hidden levels that Bungie didn't want its end users to find. This glitch is most useful on the first and last levels of the game. At the number 2 spot, it's the Undead Scarab glitch. This glitch is so hard that I could not even do it myself. But thanks to the Expedition 2009, I didn't have to. Sorry about the bad video quality, but this glitch deserves to be featured due to its frustratingly hard nature. I was only successful at this glitch once in my life, making it one of the hardest glitches I've ever done. Just goes to show that even an older game can surprise you with fun glitches. And finally, at number one, it's the Vidmaster Challenge Annual Exploit. Keep in mind this only helps you to get the achievement faster, not cheat the game. One person goes up on the non-ramp side of the tower on Halo using a two-man double jump. From there he will go to this edge and brute shot jump onto the ramp. Climbing this to the top will cause all enemies on the tower to spawn and head for the top as well. From here you can reach Sergeant Johnson and get an infinite Spartan laser, honorable mention. The two of you can now clear the tower with relative ease, effectively shortening your game time for the achievement in half, depending on your ghost handling abilities. And that's it you guys, that's my video. If you know a glitch, easter egg, or exploit that I didn't mention in my list, let me know in the comments down below. Also don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. I would also like to take this time to thank the Lethal Legacy Network for partnering me on YouTube. If you'd like to find out more information about the Lethal Legacy Network and how you can become a partner as well, I'll put a link in the description down below. Question of the day is, what microphone was I using at the beginning of my last video? Thanks for asking. The microphone that I used at the beginning of my last video was in fact the same microphone that I've been using for the last several months. It is a Guitar Hero microphone from Guitar Hero World Tour on the Wii. The microphone is USB and is compatible with my computer. It registers as a Logitech device and worked pretty well for my purposes at the time, though now I realize it does in fact pick up too much background noise. That was a great question, and if you'd like to submit your own question, please leave me a comment down below or send me a personal message here on YouTube. Be sure to check out the original Undead Scarab video by The Expedition 2009 in the description down below. And finally, if you have any ideas for my next video, please leave me a comment down below. It's most likely going to be a Titanfall Collector's Edition unboxing, which I realize means that it'll be a couple of weeks before my next video. However, I would like to try to get a video in between now and when that video comes out. The Titanfall statue will replace my Master Chief helmet, which is currently sitting on my desk. I currently have no videos in the works in between now and then. Any feedback is appreciated and I read all my comments. Well, that's all my time for the day. This is Luke DeBoos, and I'll see you next time on The Game Extortionist. I went shirtless for this whole video. I'm gonna miss you, Master Chief. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Six Mountain Dews in one video. I can't wait till I get my new microphone. I hope I don't have to move my office. Chinese, Japanese, 30 me's. It's kind of racist.